Welcome to today's kettlebell workout. It is a revamped version of my 40 minute kettlebell routine, which has since been taken down by YouTube for music rights. So I have purchased my own music. I apologize for the choice and the repetitiveness, but it was the cheap music that I could find to have on loop and rotate through. So, but it's all about the workout, right? So I've had a lot of requests to redo this one. So here it is. I've also made a choice for two different kettlebells because we're going to work with 10 reps on each side for our first 10 minutes. So I've gone with a heavier kettlebell, um, so the 16 kilo one. And then we've got uh, one minute on each side later on down the track for another 10, 15 minutes. So I've chosen a light kettlebell for that one. That's gonna be in the 20 rep range. So I've chosen a 12 kilo kettlebell there. So the first exercise is our, with our heavier kettlebell, is 10 around the waist. contact onto the body as you push that hand through the kettlebell in midair to avoid that slam on the back of the forearm. I have got technique videos on my ebook on my website, so I apologize that I haven't got any of these up on YouTube, but it's a pretty good four week program and they've got all the video downloads. Let's do one more and change. Keep that elbow tucked into the body as you push the hand through.
legs down to the beginning movement first. So let's go into a snatch. Take that same leg back into a lunge. Finish the lunge, wrap position, put it down and snatch it up again. Then go into a lunge. Let's do another one or two of these before we go into the advanced version, which I almost tried to do then. It's three, let's do another one. Four, now the advanced version is from that snatch going straight into a lunge and straight into another rep. It's a snatch lunge. As you come up, you get your stance, you go back into another one, leaning back. Ceilings, so you work on a bit of shoulder mobility here, hamstring stretch on that front leg and push back up. We've got 10 each side, one backwards, hip hinge, and push this two. Seven, think about pushing your bum this way, eight, pushing it forward towards that other wall.
left-handed, single legged deadlift. Shoulder blades are back. I like to focus on a point for balance and soften my left leg as this leg's kind of locked out. So I hip hinge, push my bum backwards, other leg goes up and coming back to the middle without touching the ground. I only touch the ground if you need to regain balance. So you might do a little tap like that. It's up to you. Three, make sure the hips are square to the ground. We don't see any hip hiking up. Four, a nice way to tell if this toe points out the side as you go back, that hip is probably opening up too much. Five, so you only keep it straight. Six, seven, Focus on a point, soften that front knee. So now we've got a high movement. So let's snatch it up. This time we're going to turn our feet to the left, but we're working the right arm this time. 45 degrees like our low body. Hand goes on the inside. Hinge from the hips. Trying to push this glute. That way, as you look to the kettlebell, get that front knee semi bent. As you come up, you push, you don't lock it out. It stays 20 degree bent. Now push backwards with that 10. Inside, hinge from the hips, pushing this glute backwards as we to the ceiling or the kettlebell coming up, keeping that front knee soft.
break. Let's call this seven. Get ups won't be easy because we've chosen a quite heavy weight to do 10 reps each side of their other exercises. So, really going to have to rely on the leg drive and the elbow into the ground. So, as you get that arm straight up, the same leg is bent. This leg is going to have to be at that 45 degrees more leverage. Same with this hand. As we push with this foot into the elbow, into the hand, hips go up, you slide that knee underneath that hip, you double check your lunge looks good, you push straight up and we reverse that. As the knee goes back, the hand goes out to the side, kick hips up as you slide that out, and then reverse it. You've got a thigh on each side. Swings, we're gonna do this for 60 seconds straight. So we're gonna go start in three seconds, two, one. So hinging on the hips, changing in the air, snapping those hips. You can either choose to be aggressive with this, you can see the more I snap the hips, the more of a workout it is, or you find people can just actually go through the motions, not much of a workout. So the more you snap the hips, even this is only 12 kilos, it's all the other exercises that we're setting ourselves up for, which we need a lot of weight.
the second link hinge. Oh my close. Press. At least 15 reps each side, so let's just find a good pace. Yeah, like kettlebell. Everything we've kind of worked already, so 
Don't rush these. So we've got 20 seconds. second bit and it's already getting tough so let's try and keep this sort of speed not rushing
know, you know, it's a bit of a break for me because the tough one is coming up. So we're going to go to a swing and we're going to pull it. So a swing pulling push you back out.
you might have a preference on which grip. You can stay that for a minute if you like. I find it's just better to change. Five, six, last one, seven, last set. Eight, two more. Nine, last one. And 10, okay, good. So low body rock, feet together. We go down to a full squat. We only ever come back up a quarter of the way. So we're gonna go around the legs, just quarter way up and then back down. We're gonna do this for a minute. It's our last exercise. You can change directions at some point if you want. I actually just focus on the burn of the legs, the quads. I keep my chest up and work on those forearms. Think about pushing through the legs a little bit to get that system of quads. routines over the last five years. You can see when I first put that up five years ago. Things have changed over the last five years for myself. Um, it's great little ones to supplement my, my heavy lifting days and of course my light lifting day where you get more of a, a burn up, you get more metabolic damage towards the muscles. This is targeting a bit more of fat loss. Hope you enjoy.